everybody what's up what's up what's up pretty aura here here to read your energies in reference to who's the snake in your grass leo um <laughs> Um, I want to remind you guys that energies are interchangeable. So you would be watching this video if you think a Leo is a snake in your grass. Um, you would be watching this video if you are a Leo. You, um, you can also watch if you suspect that a certain zodiac sign... Um, if you suspect a person, you can go look at their zodiac sign reading because I could be explaining your situation there, okay? You can also look at your sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? Um, if you don't know what that is, go to Google and put in sun, moon, and rising calculator, okay? All right, Leo. Let's get into this. We're gonna be exploring um the story between you guys. How do you how do you know each other? What happened between the two of you? Um what type of person is this person and what are their intentions? Okay. What is it? Alright, so let's go. Leo. Just looking at There's, there's something here that has to do with this may be a love situation okay for the for for somebody I feel like I got um I don't know this is that maybe you were praying for this person to um someone who you may have been in a family situation with um to emotionally fulfill fulfill you. maybe to get it right but they didn't or something like that let's check and see what's the deal with this yeah, that like I said, this is a disconnected um love relationship, okay? So it's like I'm getting the energy of someone prayed, okay? This could be concerning a Gemini. It's like someone um left someone or was looking for some type of love and emotional stability that they did not receive okay this is the story between you guys yeah this could be something that has to do with a third party situation um <clears throat> definitely this could have something to do with a third party situation Yeah, it's like it's like um you know it could be a female energy. Um it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio, um Gemini as well. And then you have Aries energy here as well. But it seems like someone decided not to give their love to a situation anymore and move on. Okay? Unf feeling unfulfilled emotionally okay so this is definitely some type of love situation could be a love triangle i want you guys to see the card so i'm gonna move you a bit some type of disconnection in love hmm Yeah, there, there's, there's a disappointment here. There's a disappointment here that a cycle, um, 
there's some type of disappointment that you guys couldn't continue a cycle, couldn't continue um, this relationship or something like that. Okay, so this seems like uh, um, some a lover's scorn type energy. This could be, yeah, this could be, um, this could have something to do with a son. Okay, you may have a son with this person or a child with this person, regardless, some type of family unit, as I said earlier. All right, Leo, let's jump into it. What kind of person is this? What are the characteristics of this person? Hmm. First of all, first of all, I want to say that I feel like this person dibbles and dabbles with um magic. Let me say that. For some of you, this person deals in magic, okay? You have this here. Yeah, this person manipulates energy. That's what I'm looking at. This person manipulates energy. For someone, this is your this is your mother, okay? Or this is the mother of your child. I think I mentioned that before. You might have a son with this person, okay? Um, but there's there's a there's a mother, a mother type energy here, okay? This person, there's some there's some there's some type of um energy of someone drinking, being a drinker. This person feels like they're the end all be all. Like, you know, like they feel like you can't survive without me kind of situation. Like you're going to always need me. Okay. This person may be a Virgo as well. This person may be a Virgo. Yeah, I'm getting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. But anyway... Okay, um, like I said, this person may manipulate energy. This person could be um, some type of, um, you know, somebody who indulges in the arts, the spiritual arts. This person could go and see readers in reference to you. This is the person who makes a lot of jokes. This person likes to, um, you know, think... Everything is a joke, but in reality, this person is just covering up something, some deeply rooted issues, okay? This person wears a mask. I just um, want to be, want to say that. I want to be clear about that. This person wears a mask. Yeah, and I'm really getting, um, you know... Somebody who's into the spiritual arts, and it's just, it, it's coming off as negative to me, okay? It's coming off as negative. If this person is, um, like, let's just say, um, Christian, okay? This person is so Christian that it's to their detriment or detriment of others. Like, you know, judgmental or, you know, all they can think about is their pastor, or, you know, they, they, they constantly tithe until they're broke. Okay? That's what I mean. It's an unhealthy, it's an unhealthy type of obsession. Okay? It's an unhealthy obsession. Let's find out a little bit more. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. All right. Well, <clears throat> this person I'm picking up is kind of narcissistic. <laughs> okay, this is a narcissistic individual. Okay, look at that. This person is a spiritual bully. This person has issues with their chakras.
told you before, uh, the the energy that I'm picking up from from this person is like um they might this might be an LGBT um person as well or a person who you know goes both ways I don't know um but I just had to throw that out there um <clears throat> this person has um emotional issues okay block chakras just overactive I'm I don't know why but I am picking up a a as if they're like some type of energy um leakage like some type of what um it's crazy because this person may be may be um a vampire there i'm i'm there's some type of draining there's some type of yeah, and with the spiritual bully here and the chakra issues, this person may literally be a vampire. Maybe literally be draining you of your energy. Look at that. Look at that. Theft. This person may, may literally be draining you of your energy. This person could have stolen from you before. Okay. This person could be some kind of thief. Some type of, um, you know, uh, a substance abuser. This person may have a God complex or a superiority complex. There's body image issues here, okay? So, for some reason, I'm picking up that this person may um, feel ugly, or negatively speak about themselves or how they look or negatively speak about how other people look okay but there's some type of issues that that this person has with body images molestation okay so either you know either this person was touched inappropriately and and this is what this is what um cause them to be the way they are look at this astral vampires at the bottom of the deck so this is what i'm saying okay with this um night card with what it says is that um allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle okay this is giving me demonic contract um you know i go and steal energy and bring it back to to the demon this is you know i'm not gonna get into that <laughs> Okay, because that would be the that would be the reason for the chakra issues. That would be the reason why I was feeling earlier about some type of energy drainage that I was picking up. Okay, and 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 here with the theft. All right, and then the witch card. <laughs> okay, so this person is a is vampiristic. I keep picking it up. This person is vampiristic, and they're into negative things spiritually and i just want to say that if you've been seeing this person in your dreams do not have sex with them do not have sex with anyone in your dreams because these people are also shape shifters these astral vampires are also shape shifters okay this person is very self-destructive and abusive and 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 the crazy thing is that this person is more of a threat to themselves <laughs> Okay, this person is more of a threat to themselves. Weird energy. Weird energy. <clears throat> In reference to this molestation energy... Okay, this person may very well be, um, this person may very well be disappointed about being molested. Okay, I'm gonna just say that right off the bat. This person may be very well be harboring, okay, some inner issues in their soul, um, if they have one, because it looks like they might even have sold that, okay, or might even have some type of soul contract with a demon or something like that for some of you guys, whatever. 
Um, this person has issues, deeply rooted issues. And this has to do with um, them being either molested or maybe even accused of molestation. I'm not sure. But most likely it's about them being molested. Whatever it was is that they could not, um, a cancer may, be, may have been involved or a tourist may have been involved. But whatever it was, it's like this person can't, um, this person can't move on. This person cannot move on from that. And you know what? Going back to the Taurus reading, molestation did come up. I'm going to say that. So this reading may have something to do with the Taurus reading. That's why I said earlier, you guys, you can either check yours or the person that you deem to be or you think to be the snake. Because the, the, the situation... um will probably come up there okay because energy is fluid and we're all connected one way or another so go check out the Taurus reading if this resonates all right yeah okay so yeah so this person you know may have been accused of molestation or may have been molested and they can't move on from that um or may have molested someone okay this may also this may also be some type of um generational curse or something that may have happened to them as a child so then they go and do it okay i don't want to um dig too deep into that because that's a very very serious thing okay very very serious that's that's a that's a um that's criminal that goes beyond um, what I can do, okay? And if you're going through that, um, and you're a victim of that, I, um, you know, my heart goes out to you. Okay, let's find out some, some more information about this person. Okay, so this is um, this is taking a chance or risk. This person uh, um, this person is very strategic about the things that they do. Okay, this gives me the energy of you know when they say um when you before you touch on a child or even when you're narcissistic. It's like this gives me the energy of grooming. It's like you know planting your seed to do your dirt. Okay. Planting your seed to do your dirt. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have heartbroken. But then we have this little girl here that's still upset, that is upset about something. You know, and she is, it, she looks childlike. And so that's just going to, you know, lead me to what I was saying before. Um, you know, with that situation, I'll, I'll say. Okay. Break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So this, like I said before, with this generational curse type energy, I don't know if, if you have let this person in and out your life, but like I said before, if this goes back to that whole sexual abuse type situation, right? It's like it has happened in this person's life and then they went and did it to somebody else or they did it to you or what have you. It gives me generational curse vibes. With the mirroring on the bottom of the deck is how our relationship reflect relationships of reflect our wounds. Okay, so again, there's something about your relationship with this person that reflects um issues, your issues, okay? Things that may have happened to you as a child or things that may have happened to them as a child. But <clears throat> yes, okay. And I'm going to go back and say, for some of you, this, this may be the, your mother or the mother of your child. Okay? This could also be a lover. You, you um, get in where you fit in. Okay, Leo? All right. I think I, I, think I saw the family card pop out. And that's just, oh, no. Definitely, okay. This is family. This is this is this is has to do with family. This has to do with family. Um
yeah sorry you guys I just I just saw some I just you know for somebody this is your mother okay somebody this is your mother Woo. yeah somebody someone did not get the emotional fulfillment that they felt like they deserved okay and it sucks It seems like this person just is, is a drama is a drama causer. It's a it is a drama starter. This is this gives me the energy of someone who, you know, they see you doing good in your life and then they go ahead and creatively come up with some BS to go and cause drama within your life. And you know, I'm getting the energy where it's like it's just this person just wants your energy. They just want your energy. They don't care if it's good or bad, okay? Just because they're in a state of despair or just because they're in a state of unhappiness. You know, I'm getting that this person even stays up at night sometimes. Just because they're unhappy, they, they go within the family I'm getting and try to cause drama. I don't think this, is, this, this person only does it to you. I don't. I don't think this person only does it to you. Wow. Yeah. You know what? Let me say this, okay? There was some type... For, for some of you guys, it's like this person put a fishing, a fishing rod out there to reel you back in. And, I, and, and it's like, it, you know, separating yourself, emotionally withdrawing from this person... Okay, and them going and pull it, putting a fishing line out there to try to get you back to try to make you stop, um, stop your movement forward to bring you back into this vicious cycle to bring you, bring it, bring you back to this generational curse. I would say this family drama. It's like this person plants seeds. I'm getting like you know somebody that would that would say something so they. So they know it will get back to you because they know you're going to call them and ask them if they said it. Any type of, there's a picking energy with this. Like I'm picking with you. Any type of energy that they could get from you is like they'll take it. And they just, they put the fishing rod out there and they just wait for, for you to bring your boat in. Do not um give in or, or feed into any drama, Leo, or or cross watcher do not feed into any drama with this person because that's their intention in real life is like i feel like this person can't stand to see that you withdrew from them okay so they want to bring they want to they want to bring you back in i'm getting a um throwing rocks and hiding your hands type energy from this individual anyway let's go well because this is like a generational curse let's Go to the ancestors and see what they have to say because they would know more about this. So, ancestors, please come through. What do you need to say? How can how can Leo or Cross Watcher help this situation? Okay, march to the beat of your own drum. You're gonna get a lot of messages in in, in music, Leo. March to the beat of your own drum, and when I say that, I mean break this generational curse and get out of this. For somebody, like I said, this is your mother. Okay, or this is your parent or the mother of your child who has issues with generational curses. Okay, get in where you fit in. Take time to reflect. Yes, take time to reflect and stay rooted and grounded. See the situation from a higher perspective, like I said. That's why I went ahead and laid out all the characteristics of this person and, you know, what they may be going through mentally that 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 makes them act like this. This there's a lot of projection here. Like people reflecting their wounds onto other people. And this is a family curse, okay? Somebody needs to get a dream catcher because remember, we 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 talked about this individual here um 
who's into some type of negative spiritual stuff or whatever. So you you want to get a dream catcher. Maybe you've been having nightmares. Okay? Okay. That's for a particular Taurus, I want to say. That's for a particular Taurus. Go get a dream catcher. Stay rooted and grounded. This person is going to try to pull you into some bull. Stay rooted and grounded. Stay rooted and grounded. Okay? Take time to reflect, okay? The ancestors are saying, take time to reflect. This person may look just like you, okay? Because this is this is a family situation. This person may look just like you. Regardless to what, okay? Spirit is saying, the ancestors are saying, listen, if this is, the, 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 this is a generational curse, then you have some of these traits within you. Whether it's lying dormant, or you used to be like that or not. So you want to take the time to reflect and you want to take the time to heal so you do not pass on any more negativity through our bloodline. Okay? Okay, Leo. I hope that helps.